intersecting lines, parallel lines, perpendicular lines. Um, they each have different rules, and they're pretty easy to remember. Intersecting lines are just two lines that cross. And usually when they're talking about intersecting lines, they're going to tell you where they cross. So they'll say, uh, line AB is intersecting line CD at point X. So they're crossing or intersecting at point X. Just like two roads are crossing, this is the street where both of them meet up. Uh, they can look like this, they can look like that. As long as they're crossing, they're intersecting lines. Parallel lines are the complete opposite, they never cross. So if this line were to go on forever in either direction, or this line were to go on in forever in either direction, they're never going to touch, they're never going to cross, they're never going to meet. So make sure you think and you carry this line up and down all the way, because if they eventually cross, then they're not parallel lines. And they can be parallel up and down, vertically like that, or horizontally. And the way that they're going to tell you that they're parallel lines is they're going to say line AB, and remember that rule with our line, is parallel, and they just draw two little vertical parallel lines to show you that they're parallel. Line AB is parallel to line CD. Now, down here, perpendicular lines, um, you're going to see a lot of different versions of this. I'm going to show you these two really quick. So, line AB is perpendicular to line CD. Now, the rule here is they have to form right angles which equals 90 degrees. So if this is a right angle, the rule is all of them are going to be right angles. Same here, even though it's not straight up, straight down, straight left, straight right, these are still right angles because they're 90 degrees. It looks a little different, but they are the same. And if they want to tell you that they're perpendicular, they may say line AB is perpendicular. It's kind of an upside down T. Perpendicular to line CD. Now the interesting thing here is that perpendicular lines are intersecting lines, but intersecting lines aren't always perpendicular. Remember, to be perpendicular they have to be 90 degrees. These ones are not 90 degrees, but these are intersecting at this point, so they are actually intersecting lines as well. To help you understand a little bit more about perpendicular, you may not see the two lines crossing like we just noticed. They may be crossing like this as well. And so that's where it's perpendicular. That's where it's 90 degrees. If you ever see the same letter repeated, so B in this side, B in this side, that means that they're sharing a point. So for this example, this might be A and this might be B, but I'm not going to write B again because I already have B written down there. So I'm going to use that B and I'm going to name that C. So this is line BC and this is line BA and they form a perpendicular line right there. So be careful and don't let them try to trick you because just remember a perpendicular line is just 90 degrees.